Hey guys, it's your girl Renee, and today I am taking you along on my day today. I've decided that I'm going to um, get you a little insight of what I do during the day. So as soon as I get up in the morning, first thing I do, woohoo, drink my okra water. See, get my day started. make my body feel better and I don't drain my um, okra water I keep the okra in there and then I rinse the okra and then I use the same okra for like two days and then I'll cut up some new okra since I have some okra that I just picked out of my garden I'll be able to have some fresh okra Mm -mm -mm. If you like, um, it tastes very refreshing and it tastes like um, cucumber water, but instead of having the cucumber taste, it has the okra taste, which isn't um, really bad. And I keep mine in the refrigerator so it gets super, super cold. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the okra that I picked yesterday. Woo-hoo! All right, guys. So this is the okra that I picked yesterday. These are soft. Let me show you. See how soft they are where I can, like, push them down? These ones are soft, too. See how I can still push it down? Look how big this okra is. This is a whopper. And this is not even my 16-inch okra that I'm um, off my plant. But this one, this one, see how I can't push too hard? This one I'm going to um, keep and let it dry out. And I'm going to use it for seeds. Because I told you with those two days of rain that we had, whew, I couldn't get out there. So you know, and anybody that's grown okra... If you don't get out there and harvest your okra on a day-to-day -day basis, your okra will get huge just like this. Look how big that joker is. <sighs> so this one is going to be used for seed. But this one, I'm going to take two of these small ones and I'm going to cut these up. And um, once I finish drinking my okra water, I'm going to cut these up and make some fresh okra water. So I'll have tomorrow. All right, guys, heading on to my next thing that I'm going to do today is I want to try to find that um, fruit that's out there. Remember the one I wanted you guys to help me identify, but I couldn't figure it out? So we're going to go through my seeds upstairs, and then I want to show you how I'm going to be storing my seeds for um, next season. So it'll be easy peasy. If I need carrots, boom, there'll be the carrots. If I need cucumbers boom there'll be the seed packets for my cucumbers all right let's head upstairs and let's get to sorting seeds hey guys then i do a little bit of um because i'm a gamer so i always um play a little um we in the morning to get my morning exercise in so i'm going to do the we sport um tennis because, woohoo, you know, your girl loves to play tennis. Uh, so, when I play my Wii Sport, child, I think I'm doing something. So, let me show you how I do a little bit of my Wii Sport in the morning. All right, let's get it. This 
I'm talking about. Yes. Tied it up. 30 first. Give me the ace in there. Yes. Woohoo. Look at that ball smoky. Stay in. Get ready to do the happy dance. Happy, happy, happy dance. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy, happy dance. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I do in the morning, you guys. Play my Wii Sports. Um, all right, you guys. So this is what I'm doing now. Remember I said I was going to come upstairs and I was going to sort my seeds? Well, I went to the DT store and they had an empty one of these American seeds. Um venues where they um, store all their seeds and stuff so I asked the lady could I have it and she said sure so now I'm going to take all the seeds that I have in this container right here this box full of seeds I'm going to take all these seeds out of here the one that we buy at the DT store for four for a dollar and you can see I've started to place them in the little pockets of um, this display, which I'm so excited about. So, as you can see, I have um, I've had some basil up there, and I've got some beans and carrots, cucumbers, cantaloupe. I've got more carrots. I got cabbage, corn chives cauliflower then down here i've got the lettuce more lettuce kale and dill and then down here i put the lettuce oregano peas and some more peas and down here i'm working on my um parsley and my peppers and then i'm going to put my radishes tomatoes now the only thing about this um display box is like this part right here on this um, this um, section of the display um, box is gone. So I'm going to put something right here so the seeds, I have something to sit on. But child, this is going to be fantastic because now when I need to find some carrot seeds, I don't have to go through all this. Mm -mm. Nope, don't have to deal with all this. Now, if I need carrots, I just come to my display box and they're already organized and they're um, organized by the different categories. Because see, this is the container bush beans and then these are the blue lake beans. So that's what your girl is working on now. When I get it all filled in, then I'll show you where I'm going to hang it because I'm going to hang it up on my wall so I can just walk up to it pick the seeds that I need, and I'll be good to go. So that is what 
I'm working on now. I'm telling you, I'm always thinking over here in Renee's Garden Adventure. And as always, this is an adventure. Because I don't know about you, but I know when I be looking for my seeds and stuff, I be have to dig through all these boxes, these containers. And you know what? You don't know if they're going to um, let you have things in stores if you don't ask. And I just asked. She said, do you want the flower one? Well, I don't have a lot of flower seeds, but um, I may go back and get the flower seed one. But for now, I'm just going to concentrate on vegetables because that's the main thing that I am always growing is vegetables. And so this will keep me organized and it will keep me from having to have so many boxes and so many containers in my little craft room here that I use as my studio as well and the pockets in here are really really deep so see how deep it is and I only have like three chives in this section right here and I've got all this space right here to go so this is a win-win situation it's not going to get wet or anything and it's just a something cute that will remind me that um when I go into the DT and I see their display for their seeds for $4 that I can say, I have one of those displays in my house. And I'm all organized just like them. And I got my seeds that are for $4. And look, for $4. All right, guys, let me get this finished and then I'll come back and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. I've got it hung up on my wall, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So now when I'm looking for my seeds, I can just go and pick what I need and take it outside and plant away. Woohoo! It looks so good, you guys. So, so good. So if you see these display stands... In the DT, don't be afraid to ask and see if they will give you one of their displays. Because she wanted to get rid of it because that was less um, stuff that she had to deal with on how to recycle it. So I'm excited about it. So let me show you the seeds that I thought might be that, um, that mystery plant out in the back. So let me go show you that. All right, guys, this is what I'm thinking it might be. I was thinking it might be this banana um, melon. But the only thing I'm not sure if it is this one, because remember at the tips of it, it was a white little um, tip at the top and a white tip at the bottom. So I'm not sure. So I'm thinking it might be this one. And then I thought it might be this one. But... The only reason why I don't think it's this one is because of the shape. This one's more of a round shape. And that one out on the vine is more of an oblong shape. So, I don't know. But we're going to find out. Because it's got to get ripe out there before the critters get it. Got my fingers crossed. So, you guys will be able to tell me <clears throat> which um, melon that will be. And when I'm out there picking my um, black cherry tomatoes, these are the ones that I'm picking. And those are the ones I'm going to show you um, why I say put them in a glass jar and put them in the refrigerator. Because, child, they taste so, so good. And then this is that Burpus, um, Burpus um, okra that um, Gardening with Lisa suggested. That this one is not supposed to be um, so slimy. But I couldn't get this one to grow because either the critters got it or it just um, didn't germinate well. But I'm going to try this next year for sure. And then this is that 16-inch okra. Yep, it's the 16-inch um, long pod. That's the one that is growing and it already has an okra on it. And trust and believe, I'm going to go out there when I think it is um, big enough. I'm going to take my tape measure out there. And we're going to measure it and see if that bad boy is 16 inches. If it's not 16 inches, I'm going to leave it on there until it gets 16 inches. 
or a little bit over. And then this is that St. John's wort that I have that I've got uh, planted out there. So I'm really excited about this one because of the um, medicinal properties that this can do. Let me, sh let me tell you. It says um, many uh, medicinal and uh, prima culture uses and it's used for um, depression and insomnia. Sometimes I have a hard time sleeping. So tell, I'm definitely gonna try this and I'll let you guys know if it helps me, lulls me to sleep. But this is the purpose of this um, St. John's wort. And then that delicata squash that I got growing over there in the green garden, that's the, with that plant. And this is what the um, fruit is going to look like. So I have, and this is a new one that I have introduced into my garden. And I cannot wait until I can taste this squash because I love squash. So this is something that's really, really exciting for me. Yay! Oh, look behind me. Can you see where it's hanging? That's where it's, you can get a better view. So when I make my videos and stuff, you guys will see my um, DT seed display right behind me in my videos. All right, guys, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go and I'm going to show you what I mean about this, um, my black cherry and why I put them in a container. So let's go on back downstairs and let's go do a taste test. Yay, because you know I love me some cherry tomatoes. So let's go downstairs and try out this black cherry. Hey guys, well here is what I was talking about with this black cherry. This is how when I grow my black cherry, um, I put them in these little containers the same little um jar that I use to drink my okra water out. But look at that. Look how beautiful they are. And you take, this is what I do. I get them really, really cold. And I take it and I just pop it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. You're talking about a burst of cold goodness it's like eating grapes because you put them in the refrigerator they get so so cold and look at them you cannot beat that they're the size of like grapes and they taste delicious so this is just a tip from me to you to try this and let me know down in the comments if you have tried this or if you have what did you think about it? So, I just wanted to say thank you for spending a little time with me today. I had a blast. I let you see what I drink in the morning, what I do when I play the Wii remote. How many of you guys remember the Wii? I love, love, love that video game consult. I told you I'm old school, so I do that. I found out how to store my seeds better for the upcoming seasons. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for spending a little time with your girl and enjoying my day. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you'll know what other adventures I will be bringing to you. Love you guys. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, take care.